A welcoming atmosphere, vibrant cities, and awe-inspiring sceneries are what make Canada find a place in the bucket list of all avid travelers. Canada, the largest country in North America is a huge land with spectacular coastlines, majestic mountains, spacious prairies, beautiful forests, and arctic tundra. There is so much to see in Canada. So much to experience, and we shall learn about them right away. The listed below are 10 of the best places to visit in Canada. Number 10. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is the most beautiful and popular natural attractions in Canada which attracts millions of visitors every year. Situated along the American border, just about an hour's drive from Toronto, these huge falls drop nearly 57 meters. You can get the chance to see the falls really close, right from the edge of the top. Niagara Gorge and the Niagara Falls have been attracting people for more than a century now. The adjacent town of Niagara Falls has an interesting carnival kind of atmosphere that you must experience. Number 9. Hockey Hall of Fame. Situated in downtown Toronto, the Hockey Hall of Fame is a dedication to the history of legendary hockey and ice hockey stars. The most important part of this hall is the Great Hall, wherein you can get to see all the important NHL trophies. If you yourself always have wanted to be a hockey player then you certainly will have a great time in the play zone where you may play a virtual hockey game or you can choose to be a hockey goalie here. Other things that you must see include the Puck Wall of Fame and the Canadian Dressing Room. Number 8. Banff National Park in the Rocky Mountains. Located in the center of the Grand Rocky Mountains in the province of Alberta, the Banff National Park gives you the chance to witness some of the most beautiful scenery of Canada. Snow-capped peaks, turquoise green lakes, and glaciers will certainly take your heart away. The most important or the beautiful part of this park is Lake Louise where the surrounding mountains get reflected in the green waters in a mesmerizing manner. You can also enjoy a never-to-forget drive in the Icefields Parkway that extends from Lake Louise to Jasper. During winters Banff also becomes an important winter sports area and a favorite destination of many skiing enthusiasts. Number 7. CN Tower. The CN Tower is the most popular landmark in Toronto and also the first tourist destination that you must visit once you are in the city. For quite a long time, the 553.33 meters high CN Tower was the tallest tower in this planet. A perfect time to visit the tower is just before sunset so that you can see the city both during daylight and also beautifully lit up by city lights at night. The most distinctive things about this tower are the glass floor, the high-speed elevator, and 360 restaurant which gives you the chance to dine in the sky. Number 6. Whistler. Whistler, just about a two-hour drive from Vancouver, is a popular village and ski resort. Though Whistler has mostly been considered a winter sports area, it has even developed into a famous summer destination with mountain biking and golf and presents a great atmosphere all through the year. It was in 2010 that the Winter Olympic Games were held here and this made the village gain immense popularity. The area offers the best skiing, dining, hotels, and also other recreational opportunities together with breathtakingly beautiful mountain scenery.
Number 5. Hopewell Rocks, Bay of Fundy. On the east coast of Canada, the Bay of Fundy is a beautiful natural wonder. Situated between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia this place is sure to leave you astonished. The ideal time to visit it is between spring and summer. You shall get to view the highest tides in the planet, with nearly 200 billion tons of water flowing each day. It is one of the best places to visit in Canada. Here you can see whales which are rarely seen elsewhere, and also a place where you can enjoy canoeing and hiking. Number 4. Old Montreal. The old part of Montreal with its lovely old historic buildings is a place that you must visit. You surely will love riding past the open squares and through cobbled streets on horse-drawn carriages. Though Montreal is a very vibrant city, Old Montreal is a place where tourists come to enjoy the atmosphere. Some of the places that you must see here are Rue Bon Secours, the interiors of the gorgeous Notre Dame Basilica, and the 1870s City Hall, to name a few. Number 3. Casa Loma. If you are interested in visiting a place with a great history then Casa Loma in Toronto must find a place on your list. This Gothic revival house was created in 1911 and was a residence to Sir Henry Mill Pellet. During the winter months, you will love the beautiful Christmas decorations in Casa Loma and in the summers the garden right in front of the castle will amaze you. The rooms of Casa Loma are adorned with original furniture that was used more than 100 years ago. Once you get to know about the story behind this beautiful place you are sure to find it all the more interesting. Number 2. Polar Bears of Churchill. One of the most unique attractions of Canada is the beautiful polar bear migration. It helps you see these creatures move from the land out onto the ice in Hudson Bay, close to the town of Churchill, in northern Manitoba. This little community gets open for the tourists every fall. You will get the chance to go out in tundra buggies that have caged windows for you to enjoy close encounters with the cute polar bears. The best viewing time is October or November when the bears wait for the ice to get frozen before they can move out. Number 1. Vancouver's Stanley Park. One of the greatest treasures of Vancouver is its 405 hectare Stanley Park that is situated on the west side of the downtown area. The park, located on a peninsula, is surrounded by the ocean and has huge Douglas fir and red cedar trees that make the park look stunning. A seawall that rings the park has an extensive path for walking, biking, and jogging. Within the park is the scenic Beaver Lake, the Vancouver Aquarium, the Stanley Park Pavilion, and the Rose Garden. Thank you. 